Hi guys, this is Jason here from the Nathaniel School of Music. I teach piano here. And in this tutorial, well it's not really a piano tutorial. It's more of a, you know, a general music uh, topic which I intend to cover. It's what I call subset scales. A subset scale is basically a scale which is derived from a scale you already know. And most scales which we learn, like the major or the minor scale, are all seven note scales. So what you do with the subset scale is you knock off a couple or maybe more and use those uh, limited notes in your music. Either to apply a filler for something or to create a riff or to just jam and try and create a different sound. So the aim with this tutorial is to give you about five example subset scales. I have the, the Carnatic name for it. You'll see that in the, the video as, a, as we go along. Uh, but basically the idea is to take a scale you already know, knock off a couple of notes and see how it goes from there. The goal of the tutorial uh, will be so that you can highlight the notes in the scale which matter for you the most. So a lot of times when you have the major scale, you tend to start from the root. Uh, what if you don't start from the root? What if you start from another point? And what if you don't highlight the standard intervals like the third or the fifth and so on? And it'll also help you create a, a unique sound for sure as you go along. And um, uh, we'll also talk about how you can change the bass notes to even go out of scale and still sound consonant with the music. Finally, how you can apply this for fills and some other embellishments in your music. So let's get started then on the piano wherein I'm going to show you the main scale first and then show you how I've built the subset scales. Right, so first of all, a recap on the pentatonic scales which you guys may already know. For instance, if you take the D major, and if you knock off the fourth and the seventh, Basically all the intervals which sound resolved and non-dissonant are there in the scale. Likewise you also have the minor pentatonic scale which is derived from the minor scale of course. So if we take let's say the D minor scale. The minor pentatonic will be. second and the sixth. Right. So here are a few other <clears throat> subset scales uh, to, to get you started with the concept. Uh, this one uh, would be from the Mixolydian scale. Now the Mixolydian scale is the major with the flattened seventh. So for the Mixolydian subset scale, if you want to call it that, it will be one, three, the seven flat.
this scale. Uh, scale or rather a minor scale with a sharpened third. And then make a subset out of it. One, two, three, five, and six flat. sound if you ask me um, and also feel free to explore harmonic options in uh, with your left hand or if you're playing chords over the scale in general the harmony which you can use could be pretty much the same harmony which you would have used had you used the the main scale of course so you could play for instance Set scale which is derived from the major so I'm on E flat and um, you could knock off the fourth and the sixth to get this sound explore the harmony you don't have to play it in a drone like way it's basically all about the sound of that subset scale within the song uh, another one is based out of the Lydian scale uh, so I'm on the key of A flat here and the Lydian scale is basically the major with the sharp four Subset is basically one, three, five flat, six, and seven. And feel free to experiment with notes which are possibly even outside the scale. about the Lydian subset and then finally something uh, based out of the minor scale so if you take E minor the subset is basically one two four so we don't have the minor third anymore one two four five and seven flat
can see you can play around with a lot more roots in the left hand or rather you have a lot more freedom in the left hand or the bass to you know experiment different sounds without it causing a dissonance here and the main reason being because we have less notes going on here so um, hope you guys can make some use out of subset scales um, so basically to recap a subset scale is where you take a scale you already know which could be seven notes and then reduce those notes to form another scale uh, which has perhaps around five notes and this allows us to highlight the notes which matter to us it also allows us to create a new fresh and unique sound and uh, you know use it at the end of a bar perhaps for a fill and um, avoid stressing on the same notes which we used to uh, when we were playing the seven note scale so that was about subset scales hope you found the tutorial useful and if you liked it please subscribe to our youtube channel which is youtube.com forward slash nathaniel school and also share the video with your friends or anyone who's interested uh, again this is jason here from nathaniel school of music see you around